Hello students, uh, today we'll do question number 8, 9 and 10 of exercise 8.2. So let's begin with question number 8. This is very very easy. Now what is there in the question 8 is the price of a TV is given 13,000, isn't it? The price of the TV is 13,000. Now the sales tax charged on its rate is 12%. So the extra sales tax, you, sub, you know that when you buy anything, you have to give tax to the government, isn't it? Now on this particular TV, the sales tax being charged is 12%. Now the final question they are asking, find the amount that Vinod will, Vinod will have to pay if he buys it. Now the customer name is Vinod. Now, if Vinod has to buy this TV, what is the total price that Vinod has to pay for this TV? Okay, so as because sales tax is in person form, so we have to know what is the amount of sales tax being charged. Okay, so, <coughs> so you will find it out. Sales tax charged. How to find it out? We will see what is the 12% of 13,000. That is this. Okay, now we'll multiply this. Yes, the answer would be one five six zero. Okay, one thousand five hundred sixty. Okay. So this is a tax that Vinod has to pay against this price. Okay, now the price Vinod has to pay, total price you can write, equals to what, 13,000 plus this okay so let's add it up it will be 14,560 yes 14,560 okay so this is the solution of question number 8 I hope you have understood all now let's move on to question number 9 now, this is question number 9. Question number 9, they are saying that Arun is a guy who bought a pair of skates, okay, at the price of 1600 rupees, okay, but it is not the original price of the skate, fine, Arun bought it at 16, 1600 rupees after he has received 12% discount, fine, so might be there, there was some price written on the skate, that is on the box of skate, okay. So that is what you have to find it out, which is termed as mark price. Whatever the price we normally see, okay, uh, written on uh, the back side or on the uh, material, that is called a mark price. Okay, that is called a mark price. So we have to find that mark price. What was the original price was written on this pair of skates, and after the discount, the Arun has to pay this. Okay, so this is the riddle that we have to solve. Now, let's start from the beginning. As we do not know what is the mark price, so let the mark price be x. As because we are not aware of this, so we'll let this x x. Now, on this x, on, it, on this x, we have to give 12% discount. Okay. Now, discount charged. So we have to see what is the 12% of the mark price, isn't it? So how to look at it? 12 by 100 into x. So the answer would be 12 into x is what? 12x upon 100. Now this is a discount was given by the shopkeeper to whom? To Arun. Now when we know discount, what does it mean? It means that the price would be deducted from the original price, isn't it? So now selling price would be what? Selling price of the customer. Okay, now. Uh, uh, okay, let it write selling price of the customer. Uh, selling price of the uh, retailer, I guess. Who is selling this? Achha, shop, shopkeeper. Now, 
selling price of the shopkeeper will be equal to the cost price of the cost price of Arun, isn't it? Because he is buying it from him. Are you understanding the thing? Because the selling uh, shopkeeper is selling, and Arun is buying, so that means it would be a uh, shopkeeper selling price and it would be a cost price of Arun. So, selling price of shopkeeper would be we have to deduct the amount, isn't it? From the original price, we will deduct this amount because he, uh, the shopkeeper is giving discount. So, it will be 100x minus 12x. So, it would be 88x by 100. Okay, so this is the price that. Arun has to pay to the shopkeeper but this price is already given 1600 isn't it that means this and this are quite similar isn't it so at last you will write according to the problem that is ATP means what according to the problem 88x by 100 is equals to 1600 okay 88x by 100 is equals to 1600. So, x equals to. Okay. Now, you will solve this and will give the answer. I will not give you the solution for this. Okay. I hope you have understood. These sums are extremely important students. Okay. Now, let's move on to the last sum. That is question number 10. Now this is question number 10. It is quite similar to question number 9 only. Now a price including VAT. Suppose uh, a hair dryer was bought, bought. Price of a hair dryer. Uh, price of hair dryer. Including VAT is costing rupees how much? 5400. That means uh, some price was written on the tag of the hair dryer. Okay, and 8% charge is included and then the price became this. Okay, but this is not the original price of the hair dryer which was written on the box. Fine, so that is the price that we have to find it out. That is again a mark price we have to find out. Okay, but this time VAT has been charged. It is not the discount has been given. So it's just a little bit different. Initially, in question number 9, what we were doing, we were subtracting. Now this time we will do the same process. But this time we will add as because VAT has been charged. Now when anything has been charged, sales tax or any type of tax, we add. But when any discount is given, we subtract. Okay. The format is more or less same only. That is a price after the VAT has been charged is given. The original price is not given. See the price before VAT was added. So we have to find the price before the VAT was charged. That is a mark price. So we will mark this as X. Okay. We will take this as X. Now, suppose if the if on the box of a hair dryer, if suppose X price is written, so now we have to charge 8% VAT. So, VAT charged, it is given the percent, now we will find it out in rupee form. That is 8% of X. So, what is the answer? 8X by 100. So, this is the VAT will be charged for the hair dryer now as because it is a tax so we have to add it so total price would be total price including VAT would be what now what was a uh, VAT uh, sorry what was the price before VAT was added that is the mark price is what X now to this X we have to add this tax also after adding will get the answer as 108x by 100 isn't it now this is the price uh, including the VAT now this price is already given in the question that is 5400 so again what we will write ATP according to the problem that is 108x by 100 this is also a price uh, of a hair dryer including VAT and this is also a price of a hair dryer including VAT. So both are same. So just you have to find out the value of X. Now for this you have to transpose the values. So for 5400, 100 will go up. Just do the crisscross method. Okay. Now solve it and you will get the final answer.
okay so today's project is question number 8 9 and 10 okay thank you and all of you take care